Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. Do come into the comments, say hi, let me know where you're from. I will, later on today, get back to you. So um, that's kind of my most enjoyable part of being on YouTube is interacting with those of you who come into the comments. So I'm going to pull from Archangel Michael, sort of light oracle to activate the reading. That's too many cards. Sloppy shuffling. Here we go. What's coming through for those of you watching? Ooh, card 14. Have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. Wow. So Archangel Michael is telling you, that's what I'm here for, right? Fear is a trap of the ego. Look at that fabulous graphic. Um, allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings that are holding you back. Right? That feels like devil energy, moon energy, right? All, all the ways that fear crops up, creeps up and robs us and keeps us small and robs us of opportunities for growth and expansion. Perfect message. All right, my loves. So what I'm gonna do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers and on we go. Three of wands, aha, anticipating something. What's crossing you here? <laughs> devil right i'm trying to i'm trying to tell you that there's a specific message here for you there's something that you're trying to manifest there's something you're trying to manifest but fear is getting in the way fear is keeping you small the devil can you know sometimes be negative karma toxic energies karmic partners even but the way that it's coming through loud and clear is there something trying to find its way to you you set it in motion at some point in the past right that two of wands moment where you chose the path forward and you sort of set your focus on it and now something's trying to arrive but your fears are getting the better of you so trust trust just going to say that. That's it. Your unconscious awareness, Queen of Pentacles. That is about your stability and, and self-care, sure, but it, it can also be about the archetype of a life partner, Queen of Wands in the past, um, maybe some disempowerment, or, or there could be. There could be a karmic partner in the mix that's creating this sense of fear for you and robbing you of your sense of stability or what you're trying to manifest in life partnership with your person. Because four of wands is in your conscious awareness. So if we have the queen of pentacles, feminine archetype of a life partner in your unconscious awareness and in your conscious awareness, you're focused on the beginning of life partnership. What's getting in the way of that arriving? Mm -hmm. some fear some negative karma possibly third party energy for some of you not all of you six of swords beautiful so moving forward getting beyond it um, breaking free of it finding some peace of mind it is a moving to the calmer waters card so i love that for you all right let's get the details here we go three of wands and the devil Three of Cups, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. So I'm feeling a little third party. Um, I'm feeling like you're feeling stuck and trapped. The devil can be trapped. Eight of Swords is definitely feeling trapped. And underneath the Nine of Cups, you know what the Nine of Cups is? Complacency. Well, you know, maybe I, I don't want to rock the boat. Maybe, maybe I should leave well enough alone. The Nine of Cups in this situation is the devil keeping you small. 
and is keeping you small because there may be someone else in the mix or third party doesn't have to be a person, but it can absolutely be something that feels like it is um, creating negative karma around your connection. It can be distance. It could be family or friends that are interfering. It can be a lot of different things, but I am feeling that there's a third party energy here that is keeping you stuck, keeping you small, um, and therefore operating from fear. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess. Six of Wands. Um, you're definitely, at least in your unconscious energy, very focused on the future, very focused on life partnership, or at the very least, building a life with someone. Right? Like the beginnings of that, even. But you may not be in communication with this person. You may be in some form of separation from them. And so on another level, even deeper still in your unconscious awareness, is that, you know, that energy of a triumphant homecoming, some form of reconciliation, some kind of, pardon the barking dog, um, some kind of you know, compromise or negotiation or a finding the middle ground where you both feel, you know, like you're being validated. So you're stuck right now, but in your unconscious awareness, there is this deeply held energy that what you're trying to bring toward you is your person with an emphasis on, right, forging a win-win outcome. Queen of Wands in the past. The moon, there's the fear, the five of cups, Queen of Pentacles again, exactly. Um, for some of you in the absence of a third party situation, then the Queen of Wands is coming in at, as that moment where your fear disempowers you. So imagine her in reverse energy, right? Disempowered. And sort of everything's slipping through your fingers there. The five of cups, it's like I had it right in my hand, but there's all this fear and I'm feeling disempowered and I'm feeling stuck and I'm playing small, but I don't know how to escape it because there's that queen of pentacles again. So notice that she's now really pushed down in the past. She's pushed down and I'm talking about in the recesses of your mind. So that's suppressed energy repressed energy um and it's you know some regrets of the past or mistakes of the past or some real sense of loss coming from fear apprehension insecurities that have risen to the surface and definitely gotten the better of you i feel like i've said that now two or three times four of wands in your conscious awareness Beautiful. So can you see how we're opening up here with anticipation, three of wands, no expectation, anticipation. You want to kind of say like, I've set this thing in motion and I'm excitedly anticipated for what will approach me, what will be placed on my path. But fear is crossing all of that. Um, and so in the past and in your present unconscious awareness, there's lots of energy built up around fear, about disempowerment, about not feeling like a sense of self-efficacy, like I'm not feeling like I can effectively change the course here. But in your conscious awareness, you're like, yeah, I know what I want and I want it bad. I want it. I want it. I want to make progress. I want to move forward. I want to be victorious. I want the happily ever after. And my heart is open to it. Queen of Cups. So, very powerful energies. Um, I will say that the card that I'd like to see for you is the Strength card. Because the Strength card is the card in the deck that overcomes devil energy. So, we're building to that. Maybe it'll come out in the Extended. 
Now, Six of Swords is saying, once we, I start making progress, I wanna move beyond and get past the turbulence of my fears, the turbulence of the uncertainty, the turbulence of what it is I have, fe I have been feeling ineffective to manifest. Three of Wands is a card of manifestation. So let's see Six of Swords. Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Yes. So the truth here is that your fears aren't born out of any form of weakness or a lack of self-efficacy. They're born out of pain. They're born out of heartache. They're born out of something that even though on the surface you may feel like I've, I, I dealt with it, I healed with it, I moved on. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Some things live beneath the surface for a very long time. And it seems to me like in the near future, the decision will be yours, right? What am I really dealing with? What, what am I really dealing with? And how do I get my, reclaim my sense of personal power to move beyond the pain that I have stuffed down? because I'm busy out there taking care of everybody else. Because I'm busy out there, you know, having to do what I do every day to, you know, get the bills paid. And if you're taking care of children, uh, right? There's no time to process pain. There's no time um, or very little. And it leaves us feeling very disempowered. And we're always kind of behind the eight ball trying to figure out how to just get from point A to point B in, in a day. So I am feeling like what your wish here is, is to move beyond the pain. And that is going to be about you sizing up realities on the ground. What am I really dealing with in real time with regard to this connection? And so that you can reclaim your sense of um, not just personal power, but, you know, remember your magic. Remember your magic. So that in essence... The power of the fear of that toxicity or whether there's negative karma here, whether there's karmic energy in the mix between you and your person or whether that devil is just your own small self staying small so that you don't get hurt again. You're going to have to really coach your inner queen of wands back to power so that you can move beyond it. And it's a process. It's Kind of like keeping all the energies in motion um, as you process everything so you can move forward. That is what I see for you for now. Uh, I am going to take it to the extended because I, I sort of want to see between you and your person what has been working for your connection, maybe in the past, what didn't, um, what are the opportunities available to you now in your connection, what does your person want you to know, what, what would they like to say to you, what energies are they picking up from you at 5D, which is to me, the most interesting card, because a lot of times we think we know what vibe we're putting out and we're not, <laughs> we couldn't be more wrong. So that's my favorite part of the reading. Then we're going to get some energy from spirit, some guidance, direction, a message, hidden energies, what's going on behind the scenes with your person that you don't know, but could be very helpful. And then how might things unfold going forward? So we're going to do that in the extended. There are links below. Please note. I have restructured it where I've numbered it, option one, option two, or option three for how to access extended readings. Please take the time to read because one of them is a monthly renewal for Libra. One of them is just this extended and the other one is access to everything. So check it out. Um, the link to the Lionsgate special is just below the extended, just so you know. And if you enjoy my readings, please, for the love of all that's holy, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, it doesn't cost a thing. It really helps me out. There's been a big struggle for me to get this channel seen um, in the last couple of months. Many of you have been so very helpful. So I ask for that from people that are new or who have been on the fence and watching me for a while. Please subscribe, like, and share if you feel called to do so uh, so that I can continue on this platform. 
that's really what like I have to make a decision in the next month or so of whether I can even continue here um, it's been that dire so I humbly ask for your support all right my loves here we go your astrology devil is Capricorn Queen of Pentacles is out twice Capricorn okay so so now that you know a lot of Capricorn energy here and by the way Capricorn is ruled by the planet Saturn and as I record this the Sun and Saturn are making a nice geometry to each other so there's an illumination of lessons that still need to be learned so you're getting sort of the soft touch from Saturn because Saturn is the taskmaster the great teacher the Lord of Karma right so we're getting the soft touch but maybe something's coming through here that's shining a light on your fears and how they're actually working against you and against the intentions you have set so interesting right we have um the uh high priestess is the moon queen of wands is out twice aries the moon card is pisces uh we have chariot is cancerian energy we're in cancer season as i record this and queen of cups is cancerian energy as well so this does feel very present and timely um and that's what i have for you okay and that's what archangel michael says have no fear so i'm headed to the extended now i will see you there in a second thanks for joining me bye